All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm your host, Mr. Mill. And over here, I got a book by Mo Willems. He's one of my favorite authors. And uh, <laughs> you guys know who this is. This is The Pigeon from the famous Pigeon books. And now this one is titled The Pigeon Has to Go to School. And I find this book ironic because we're out of school at the moment. So I figured I'd use this time to read it on to you guys and uh, we'll develop a project based on it. Well, look how cute those chairs are. It's kind of like uh, my art room <laughs> with the tennis balls on the, on the feet. It's kind of cool. All right, wait, don't read that title. The pigeon has to go to school. <laughs> Too late, rats. Why do I have to go to school? I already know everything. Go on, ask me a question. Any question. Well, I know almost everything. Does school start in the morning? Because you know what I'm like in the morning, it's not pretty. Are you guys cranky in the morning? I wish I was a little chick again. A little itty bitty, not going to school, baby wavy pigeon. Oh, look how cute that is. Was that you guys? Nice and cute. What if I don't like school? What if I really don't like it? What if I really, really don't like it? What if, what if the teacher doesn't like pigeons? And the stuff, what about all the stuff? There is so much stuff to learn. What if I learn too much? My head might pop off. I'm scared. What will happen at school? It's freaking out. <laughs> what if there is math or numbers? Why does the alphabet have so many letters? Reading can be hard with one big eye. What about lunch? What will the other birds think of me? Will finger paint stick to my feathers? What's up with those heavy backpacks? I'm a fragile bird. The unknown stresses me out, dude. <laughs> there should be a place to practice those things with experts to help you and books and classrooms and other birds to work and play with maybe a playground oh that is school well how am i supposed to get there anyways well 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 Side coming through, the pigeon has to go to school. <laughs> and he's in the classroom. Doesn't apply to us now, does it? Now, that was a really cool book. I love this guy, Mo Willems, and uh, a very favorite amongst uh, the rest of us teachers. So, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna come up with a project. So, what you need is a piece of paper. Uh, some imagination and the three colors that you need that are important to this guy is yellow light blue and uh, black now If you don't have any of these colors Just a pencil or pen would work But uh, what I'm gonna do is draw the basics of what you need and we'll go from there What I want you guys to do is your objective is is to draw the pigeon in a school activity So he could be doing math on a desk. He could be doing painting. He could be uh, writing on the board and whiteboard. He could be drawing I don't know if you can play hopscotch outside. What I want you guys to do is uh, use the basic things of how to draw a pigeon, of how Mo Willems does it, and then make the pigeon do something on the paper. The head is just a round circle like this. So I'm gonna draw maybe four heads right here. All right, I got four heads, all different sizes. Now the eyes, the eyes are very different when it comes to uh, the pigeon. Let's just take a look at the book. All right, this is the page I was looking for. I'm gonna take a look at the eyes. Uh, one eyeball that I've seen a lot is just the basic one. So it's just an oval with another oval inside. You color the inside like this. And sometimes you can kind of create some lines on the outside. Boom, an eye. Uh, some other eyes I've seen is when the eye is a little more subtle with a line in between, like a pokeball kind of. And you only draw half the eyeball in the inside like this. It's kind of like, like that when you look like that. Um, I've also seen people or <laughs> with a pigeon screaming. So if you look on this page right here, so you might need a gray for that one or just draw really lightly with pencil. So you might have to go like this. 
like that. So that's another way. Um, I've also seen, what else? Let's see, oh, the scared eye. So it's kind of like this one right here. So the pupil is gonna be a little bit smaller. So there we go. Now, let's talk about the mouth. There's only a couple ways how to draw the mouth. Uh, the mouth closed, simple, is this a triangle? Like that, and then you can kind of like leave a blank like that. Or if you want the more to have more of a line in between, you can. So if you curve it uh, like this, it looks like a smile. If you curve it down, it looks like more of like a frown, like this. So if I curve down, it looks like that. So just the small influx of which direction you do the line will uh, change the emotion. And here's another one. So if you just do two triangles, a little bit smaller than each other, it looks like the mouth is jaw open. So anyways, the neck is pretty simple on this pigeon. The neck is just this. It's literally just a line, a line, and then two lines going across. And notice how if you go out of bounds, not a big deal. And then um, when you're coloring it, when you come to the neck, just make sure that you are doing uh, the pigeon a favor and not coloring that white part in the middle. So if I just go like this, that should be the neck. So perfect spot. So when it comes to the body, think of a boat. The boat kind of looks like this. Kind of looks like this. That's kind of like how the pigeon's body is. Um, I'm going to show you guys another variation. Um, so here is just a plain body for the pigeon. Um, some people want to draw the pigeon has arms going up. So sometimes you kind of just, instead of doing it like that, you kind of have the, have the pigeon's arms like this. And they go to the neck. And if you want to have the other arm, you can kind of go like this. So now like the arms are up forward, like that. Um, another way is, I think when the arms are up, just draw arm up, and the body's like this, there's the neck, and then the arm kind of goes up like that. So there's that. Now the feet, feet's super basic. All you gotta do is like this. If you want it standing up, if you want it sitting down, you kind of like kind of more spread out on the body like this. Uh, and then if you want to make it an action, you can kind of like bend the knee in some way. So it looks more animated. So there's that. Let me draw the basics of what I want to do if I were you. Um, I would probably draw it, <laughs> draw it sitting on a chair or probably at a desk working. So what I'm going to do is draw a couple of things that I saw in the book. So what I'm going to do is draw the desks. So I'm going to draw the desk right here. Let's put the desk right here. He is working at this desk. So there's one, two, three, four. They're all going towards Kind of like a desk that looks like this. And I think this looks like your desk at school. One, two, three, four. And there's four, two lines. One, two. Ta-da! Looks like a grill kind of, right? All right. So we got that. I'm going to draw the chair. One, two, three, four. And uh, since I want the pigeon to be sitting on it, I'm just going to draw the legs first. One, two, three, four. Going up to the same point. I want to create the seat and a little bit of backing. There we go. And I'm gonna start drawing the pigeon first. So pigeon first, I'm gonna draw the boat. Watch out. And then maybe have the arm go up. His other arm going up. And then complete the boat. Here's the neck. Here's the neck. Two swishes. And then I can probably finish the chair now. It kind of looks like this. And then I can probably complete his legs. So I'm going to bend his legs. And then I'm going to make him holding a book. You don't have to make him doing anything really, but um, kind of want to. He's holding a book. And then I'm going to make him with his head. Sure it's big enough. And since I want him to be looking down at the book, I'm going to create the beak a little lower. And then I'm gonna make him have a smile. And then since he's looking at the book, I'm gonna make the pupil down here. He's looking at the book. Ah. And he's learning. All right, so your goal for this project is to draw a pigeon doing something. Well, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I can't wait to see what you guys do. If you guys wanna tell me what you guys did, that'd be great. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.